Um, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today we have another unboxing for you guys. Um, but before we get into the video, we had some nice views on the last, on the last uh, video that we did for you guys. But I wanna ask you guys before you go further into the video to hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on Black and Tan or if you're watching this on DMBN TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps our channels and uh, that way we keep bringing cool stuff for you guys. So I'll let Donald take the lead on this one because he's the one more experienced on this uh, subject today. What's up, guys? He says that, but I'm really not. What's up, guys? Another unboxing. This company gave us this bike before, enough before it was released again. So you'll be seeing this bike on the 26th of this month. We're not going to show it right now, but I want you guys to see how uh, Elvis his impression when we pull it out because uh i think it's going to be another cool one last time we kind of like just pulled it out how do you want to do it this time let's do it the same way what do you think of this bike though like what's your have you seen it have you heard about it or i know we cover we cover the label so we kind of like keep i know around. i know a, i know a little bit about the bike only because the rep uh came in and told me about it okay so i don't know the exact differences i don't i didn't pull the bike out of the box to look at it the box was already open so we I, it, it kind of messed me up a little there but i try to be as true to these unboxings as we possibly can and not peek in not do anything on this one i did get a little look at it i gotta be honest but i didn't really like pull it out and and check it over or anything like that so i wanted to wait until Elvis got here for us to do the unboxing together. Let's let's do it. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Since I'm since I'm colorblind, what, what color is this? Oh, brown, gray. It's like a, a brownish, grayish color. Okay. I see some wireless going on in there. Oh yeah. See some uh, transmission, SRAM transmission. SRAM transmission. I think the audience is ready to see this, so let's do it. Um, so make the face on that camera. Oh, oh, oh. oh we still don't know what it is. No. Let's All put right. this down. People that know will know. The people that know will know. The people that know will look at certain things and say, "Okay, I know exactly what brand this is." What do you think gives it away? Um, probably. Like, if you show me this bike like this, I would I wouldn't be able to tell, like, what brand it is. Dave, can you tell Dave? <laughs> We'll leave that alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hmm. Ooh, have I you, see some. Have you had this before? I had, I had a bike. You had this, like the model. This, this is just I the had, newer. I had this model with a lot less travel. Ooh. Well, I see in my humble experience, opinion, I see it's a, it's an XC bike because of the transmission, I mean, because of the suspension in the front. Is it? I mean, it's a small, at least 110. Is it, is it really? Yeah. Hmm. Like, hmm. All right, you want to start doing the uh, sit yeah. tie? All right. Yeah. You know we have to be exact on our information that we give on the internet because there's internet trolls that will literally rip you apart. So I said on my last video, that the lip chip will drop the lower the bottom bracket and Ooh. change the and change the rake on the front end and it doesn't change the rake on the front end but people knew people that know knew exactly what i was talking about I think but of course you did a for test though to see if there was someone out there yeah i was just testing the audience to see if there was someone out there that knew the difference between rake and changing the head tube angle so 
for that guy, I have to apologize and say, you're right. You're 100% right. When you drop, when you flip a flip chip, it only changes the head tube angle. It does not change the rake of the fork. For people that don't know, the rake is how far the axle comes out from the head tube angle. That's the rake of uh, the fork, not the opposite. But 90% of the people still call it the same thing because they all know what each other means and what it, uh, what they're talking about. Well, I'm looking at this bike and I tell you what right now, I've done a few unboxings and uh, they put a lot of cushion in this bike. They put a lot of, like, a lot like of a protection, lot of protection. Right? Ooh, that's different. Ooh, well, now you guys know what it is. There you go. Ooh, Ooh that looks good. That stem looks nice. That like integrated, it. that integrated stem looks oh, good. Fully integrated. Look yeah. at that. That looks good. Let's go, Cannondale. Bro, this is a good looking bike already. So, for those, I mean, I had a Cannondale before, but well, we'll we'll, get, we'll save this spot for the uh, once we have it open. New SRAM brakes. Carbon bar. Carbon bar. What level is this? This is probably like one before of the top, I would guess. Because that comes with a um, GX. No, so G, there should be, if it comes with GX, there should be two levels in between this and the top. Two more? One, one more level, so X. Yeah, they don't. Right, which is the highest level. That's the same thing. That's like the Lab 71 would be like the S Works version of this. I don't part. want to say the word, but you said it. <laughs> we're, we're still allowed to say it. Okay, cool. Look, look we're, it's no secret that, you know, we are pseudo special, uh, S works and specialized fanboys. Okay. But then it comes, it, it's cool when we get bikes like this that can change our mind. Right, like this Definitely, is because I haven't, and I haven't ridden uh, a different full suspension maybe like in six years, aside from the Specialized. So this will be a cool test. That chain rig though looks kind of big. Is that a thirty-four? Thirty-four. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to climb with that, man. No, you got, but you got a big chain ring in the front. But look how. So here's what I'm going to do with this, because that was the other comment. Well, I want to keep this, though, for safety. For safety, yeah. <laughs> just in case you're riding in traffic at night mm -hmm. or not on the well, trail. Did someone say something about this, then? Oh, come on. Yeah, of course. Someone was like, whip that pie plate on the end. So we're calling this the uh, Cannondale scap Scapple? Or what is this one called? Scalpel. Scalpel. The scalp. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I keep the whole clip of you taking that <laughs> off. Take it, taking it forever, taking forever to get that off. There you go. Comes there together pretty scalp. good, man. It's not like a lot of uh, yeah issues, but no, I'm sorry, Elvis. And this is the new technology that Cannondale is testing, the uh, zip ties and the chain that helps you for uh, climbing. Yeah, it that's a, that's a gives flag you for the guys. Better that shifting. Like, yeah, better shifting, yeah. For those guys that like fun packs. Works better than drop stop. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly better. You go, you, you, you leave these on, you lose, you lose 0.0075% efficiency. Efficiency, not fast. It, it will count, it will cancel, cancel out what you gain from having black and tan tires, which this bike doesn't have black and tan tires. So automatically, it's a little slower because it doesn't have the black and tans. We'll change that though. You might not put we'll, black and tan. We'll on make this it one, faster. But we'll make it faster. But dude, I like it. I like it. I like I'm, the frame. I'm freaking digging this bike yeah. so far the way it looks, man. I like the frame, definitely. Oh damn! 
why do why do I I don't want to like this bike, but I really like the way it looks. <laughs> I, I, dude, I don't know why they did that, but I, for some reason, I just like I just like things that don't look like. I'm sure there's a reason that they did that, right? Yeah, there's got to be. I think it's maybe it's the, you know what it is. It's to keep the water bottle from out from being here. It breaks, gives you more room uh, for your water bottle. Because look, your water bottle is now going to come here instead of if it were straight up and down, it would be here. That's true. Right, so it gives you more room for your water bottle for sure. I bet you it'll look good too with the water bottle on it. I, I think, the, man, I just can't get over how good and clean this looks. Sorry, Specialized, they beat you on this. What the heck? On that one, yeah, they beat you. They beat it on a this. Thousand one. percent. Yeah, this is nice. I like. Yeah, this. this is nice. Makes the frame look clean. Super clean. So when you're running, say if you're running a one, your one piece, one piece bar, integrated, yeah, man, it goes right in, boom, it look, it'll look clean as hell. It'll. It, I wonder if the um, the top model has like a some type of integrated. Can guarantee bar. on the, on the, on the Lab Seventy. The Lab Seventy One, I think it comes with a one piece. So well, we don't know yet because it hasn't even been inter, it hasn't even been introduced. We don't know yet. Yeah, again, we're, we're in we're in the we're in the future. I was gonna say that at the beginning of the video that we're in the future right now. Yeah, we're in the future again. And they are in the past. No, mm -hmm. they are in the present. We are in the future. We're in the past. They are in the future. We're in the right, right. We're yeah, in the yeah. Past. yeah, we're in the past. Yeah. Right. When they see when they see this, it'll be on the somewhere around the twenty sixth of this month. Yeah. We're gonna go do a hundred mile ride today. On oh, we're bike. riding this bad yeah. boy. Mm -hmm. so, so in that time, Dave, I need you to ride it too. Yep. You gotta basically bleed the brake. Uh, I guess only the rear brake. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You know what they should they should have figured out a way to run the brake through the fork through the fork the front brake through the fork to have the front brake come out here also. Uh, so what's the point of being fully integrated like this if you don't have... That would be tough though to do it. No, you run it up through through the back here and up through the up through here. Yeah. And it gives you that clean look here. They can do like a technology that goes inside of the shock, man. That's, I'm sure that's coming soon. Like the re front brake to go through the shock and that. Well, the, the problem is, is the shock moves. True. So it always... Look at them flat bars, man. So, you see that? You see how much travel is on the fork? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I don't know yet. Where I can tell you what it is if you want me 120. to. 120. 120. Right there? 120, 120. So, is it a cross country bike? I mean, 120 is the new popular, right? For cross country. No, one, 120 was. 120 oh, yeah. was always like down country. Trail, I'd say anything 130 and above, 140, one, 140, one, 130, something like that. Yeah, and it just depends on, on, I mean, you can also have a trail bike with less uh, travel, but more rake, right? So it, it's, it's a handful of things that make a trail bike a trail bike. I do like the um, how they kept the frame clean. That's nice. And um, so today we're doing kind of like we did we kind of like just transition from the unboxing to like after ride. We're still gonna do more riding tomorrow. And um, I think it's an amazing bike. What do you think? Well, I didn't get to ride it. Yeah. From the way you looked, going over the rough stuff. I thought it was 
thought it was nice. Like okay. you could tell, you could tell certain bikes when people are like getting bounced down the trail, or if you when you start stand up to the pedal, it, it looks like there's a lot of movement in the suspension. And I didn't see that when when you were riding. It okay. looked pretty stable. It looked really stable. Um, after weighing it, the weight was good. The weight was good. The weight was pounds. the weight was actually good because this is not the highest level bike. It would be yeah. So this would be considered like their mid to upper build, not not anything crazy. So this will be their middle model. After this is like the lefty, maybe or no? Uh, they're not going to have this bike with a lefty. Okay. This year, so this bike's not going to come with a lefty. You can build it up with from a lab and put a lefty on it, but it's not gonna come with a lefty. Um, so it's gonna come the way it is, kind of uh, all the way up through the scales. And then if you wanna buy a frame set and build it up with a lefty, you can you can do that. Okay, cool. Um, comes with uh, SL uh, dropper post, which is super smooth, but it was our first time experiencing the SL. What'd you think about it? Well, the dropper. This is my first time running a dropper within like five years right so but you like i tell you a whole bunch of times like i think i'm a dropper guy now yeah it's yeah. just gave me like a lot of uh you know comfort going yes. that hill and like clearing stuff not that we were clearing yeah big lugs well, but still. but but yeah it gives you a lot more freedom over the bike it, it, you feel like the you have a lot more room around the bike to, to maneuver it around things and, and to you know Get a little funky with it when you yeah. need to. I do. Before we get into all the, the uh, I, we already in it, even though we started doing the unboxing, but big shout out to, I mean, to you guys, of course, Patasco Bicycles, but uh, Canon though. I mean, they gave us this thing a, almost a week before it came out. I think that's a big plug. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> least, sure. At least for me. Can it, <laughs> hey, you want you want to really, you want us to sell your bikes. Yeah. One way for us to sell your bikes is to get us to ride them. Yeah. Right? And get us excited about it, right? right? And when you when you when you drop off a bike to us and say, "Hey, look, go ride it, check it out, tell me what you think." You know, this is a way that uh, really excites us. We we're we're still going to we're still cyclists. Sorry. Keep going. Yeah. We're still cyclists. Yeah. So, one way to get us excited about anything is to say, "Here you go. Go play play on this," right? So, this bike should be around the five to six thousand dollar range okay. we won't we'll, we'll post it somewhere on here somewhere here yeah yeah yeah, yeah we always do that somewhere here. <laughs> somewhere here right so we'll post it somewhere where the re where the retail price is going to be yeah. um we'll also post in the uh description um the stats on the bike the geometry and things geometry. like that weight um weights um but down to the bike. So we're gonna compare this directly to your Epic. So okay. you're coming off of an Epic. Um, now you're coming off of an, an Epic, uh, a straight Epic, not a straight, a straight epic. not a strep, an Epic Evo. No. Although you were running a 120 fork on your regular Epic, right? Right, 124 uh, Fox, yeah. So, 120, sorry, 120 uh, Fox. So um, comparing this bike, so this bike's 120, 120, mm -hmm. which would compare it to the now, Epic Eight. Epic Eight, right? Right. It Which, puts it. It's over there. Yeah. This is this is an Epic Eight yeah. Evo. So this Evo is going to be 120, 130, which compares oh, okay. it to all of these bikes are going to be pretty much in the same category now. So you're looking at a, a 429 Trail from mm -hmm. Pivot, an Epic Evo Eight from Specialized, okay. mm -hmm. and the new Scalpel all increasing travel this year well right. actually the the pivot didn't the pivots the same but maybe they had maybe they had it, had it right the entire time and now everybody else is catching up so 130 120. dude that's 130. that's 130. that's 130. this okay so it's 130 120. We so just got our pulled out the measuring tape yeah the, uh, when in doubt measure it out that's yeah. what i say all right but so, um i mean coming from a it was gonna it, it was definitely a big difference i haven't ridden a mountain bike in like a month but i felt maybe i don't know maybe it was more mental but i felt the weight differences because my epic was 120 i'm sorry it was 20 pounds this one is 24 i don't know if 
if it'll make that big of a difference. Yeah, but we got to compare apples with apples, right? So your Epic was basically an S-Works Epic with right. all light, light goodies Everything on it. Everything light, yeah. Right? Um, Suspension-wise. Suspension-wise, big difference on, I think this is the Select Plus, the, the newest stuff. Right. I felt this was so smooth on the downhills. Right. On the climbs, I didn't have to do anything. It was just like I told you on the ride, it was just lock. Right. Like right. if it had a brain or something. Right. Like, you actually you actually asked me, you were like, does this thing have right. some type of lockout, mechanical lockout or something going on? And it doesn't. I didn't mess with it at all, but it would just get really, really firm going when it, when it needed to be. Right. And that for me was like Oh man, like really like, I didn't even have to like, hey, let me lock like this while we're climbing. Right. It was just solid. Like so, in. so that is, that could be a couple of things. It could be the angle and the rake of the fork. Okay. Because again, for the, for the guy who commented on me, I know, I know, you know his, yeah, his name. His, I'm not going to say it. I do know his you name because it bothers name. me. I'm going to put his name right here. So <laughs> the angle, the angle of the head tube angle is not the rake of the fork. Yeah. But it could be that combination that makes this more stable on climbs and, and things like that. Okay. Um, you know, uh, this fork can, could appear on multiple different bikes. So the forks and the components don't always make up the bike, but the entire package does. So, okay. you, you know, using, saying, hey, look, we've, like, for instance, I was going to say the dropper post. Mm -hmm. Oh, that dropper post. What do you think about the dropper post? Well, this dropper post could be used on... Right. 300 different bikes, right? It doesn't make this bike, but the com the fact that they put this dropper post on this bike with this package and that package, it makes a complete bike. And those little nuances could be the reason that you chose this bike, but right. not because necessarily it was better at this, that, and another, but the entire package is what made this bike stand out to you. Um, so 120, 120 platform on this, and you said it was good. It was good on the downhills. Boyanis on the climbs. I don't know. I felt I felt like a little like struggling a bit just because I'm not you used say to that, You say that, but not only did you PR a climb. I was going to get to that. Yeah. <laughs> not only did you PR a climb, but you also KOM that climb. I KOM the climb. Yeah, I was going right. to I was going to get to so that. So under under a uh, under and you and you have you did climb that on your old bike. I did before. Yep. Right. So yeah, not only did you a new bike that you're not used to really what how would you how, how do you think you would feel if you had another week to ride it and really got dialed in on the bike and really set it up um i mean i think i, I will get more comfortable with the whole you know dropper pose suspension get more comfortable with the weight because uh, at the same time i don't want to like ride this like if it was my bike you know because it, no, but I think that's that's the that's the whole yeah. Whole but thing. like so, you, you still be I'm still being be careful of all with all the transmission. Yeah, you're not you're and, not and trying that. to break it, right. but at the same time, that's one of the reasons Cannondale dropped it off. The rep yeah. literally said to me, I think I told you, he said, "Don't break it." He goes, "Well, if <laughs> don't try to break it." Right. He goes, "If it breaks because you're riding it, that's what you're supposed to do. So don't worry about it." it um, and it is dirty. I mean, we rode it for what 15, 15 miles and. Yeah, yeah, you got a good. We got a good ride in, in multiple different terrains for this bike. You know, we didn't take it out to our, our super rough stuff. We uh, we took it out to what I think this bike is built for. for you know, say, yeah. so we have in Montgomery County in Maryland. It's a flowy system with some roots and some mm -hmm. a couple of rock gardens. Nothing crazy, and you know, we took it out there. I think this is like the perfect spot for it. Um, I this, felt like a pro for a day. Riding a you bike. Wrote, you wrote the way that, that it's not out. I felt like cool, special. Yeah, yeah. Well, the way the way that uh, you know the way that you would accelerate from me on the climbs, you look like a pro. <laughs> VJ, it came for you. Yeah. Um, so, I, I like the you, frame, man. I like I like everything about the bike. I mean, let's give it let's give it a. Uh, a score. A score? A score. Let's start doing a score. So this is the first video that we're going to have where we give item scores, right? So price-wise, price, we... price -wise, for what you're getting, I think this is par for the course, right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to give it uh, like a, a five is going to be right in the middle. Not good, not bad, right where it needs to be. 
We'll do from one to ten. Okay. And five being five being not good. Five like, being good. Five, okay. Yeah. Anything over five means it's really good. Anything under five, not so good. How much is it? I don't have the exact price, but I'm pretty sure it's comparable with like the the pivot and the the uh, stump. Uh, the that one is eighty five hundred. Yeah, yeah, well, this one's a little higher. Right. So this one comes with, so you look. Factory suspension. Think, right. So. Yeah, yeah. So this one's going to be com comparable to the blue one that we had. So you think it'll be on the 55? Yeah, it probably will be. Okay. So I'm going to give it a six. Okay. For, for value. For value. Riding characteristics. How did ride. it ride? Uh, I'm going to give it a seven. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Because I felt really comfortable, dude. Down. What would you give your? Hill. Here's the question. What would you give your epic? Uh, my epic. If this is what did I say? Seven. Seven. I'm gonna give my epic a six. Wow. Because the 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 fox the fox was just now. Remember that epic had the brain, so the brain at least for me the brain hasn't been a good experience. Which they don't have it anymore on none of their bikes. It hasn't been why. it hasn't been a good experience with me either. I turn right. mine off. So that I always felt that Me that bike my, was my brain and the brain on the bike. Right. I turn them both off when I'm riding mountain bikes. <laughs> that I, I always felt like the brain was maxed out, like on the downhills, and on on the uphills I never got comfortable with it. It was okay. just always like clunk clunk. So six epic, seven on this one. And that Rock Shack, man, I hope I hope the new Rock Shack that I got, it's it's similar to this, because that Rock Shack was nice. Well, I do want to tell you something about your new Rock Shack. It has a brain in it. Yeah, I know. Okay. It might might go away. We'll see. Right, right. So And so can we, I give it a on uh on the frame? Because I like yeah, the frame. The way it and looks. I'm, I'm gonna tell you it's an eight for me. And what makes it an eight? I don't know, dude. Maybe on the frame, I'll give it a ten. Ooh, come on! You haven't seen anything. So you know why the internal cabling for me is a it's it's yeah, so it, it, it it's clean looking man. It's for clean. Sure. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight on the on the looks. On the looks, it, and it's eight? yeah because I'm gonna compare it to my our, our our the new World Cup from okay. Specialized, and I don't think it looks as good as the World Cup. I see them like on the way of kind of like trying to hide the shock maybe. Yeah, yeah. And the next model, this will be here. And then on the other one will be here. But I, I do like, I do really like, genuinely like the way it looks. I yeah. think it's a sharp looking bike. I think it's really good. They did a great job with the way the bike looks. I will give it a nine. I'll give it a nine. Okay. So six. No, it says seven. Yeah. And then. Um, nine. And then nine. Right. Six, seven, nine. Mm-hmm. So now I have to ask if, if you're giving this a nine on looks, what are you going to give your, your Epic? Cause we have to have a, we have to have a point of reference. My Epic is a 10, bro. You're talking about the new one? Yeah. The new one. She's a, she's a 10. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. Well, we're going to be comparing them. Yeah. Um, and we're going to compare it, both of our Epics to, to these bikes, as well as I mean, you know, I'm a specialized fanboy, so I'm always gonna I'm, give it. I was a specialized fanboy, but, but you, that new Epic doesn't have. It has like halfway internal cabling. This one is fully internal cabling. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it pops out right uh, here. Yeah, yeah. So it they, is. They, it is. It's it not. Is. It's not internal, as in like popping out up here. It's still. You still have a little bit of cable showing, um, but but this one still has. Yeah. Okay. So. Technically, it is fully almost. Yeah, kinda. Okay. It's not as clean. It's let's just say the cockpit on the new Epic is not as clean as this one. It's not. Mm -mm. Right. I think that they did a great job. Yeah. In how clean this looks. I mean, they did an awesome job. Um, so it handles. It handles great. Mm -hmm. You said that. Um, aesthetically, the way it looks looks good. It looks good. Yeah. The value is is. Right there, like six, like you said. Carbon Not, wheels, GX. Yeah. yeah. So what I've noticed about Cannondale, if we're going to compare them to Specialized, is they always give you one thing a little nicer for the money. Okay. Right? Um, I don't know if it's because uh, 
if someone had to pick a Cannondale based off the name over a Specialized, if they would pick a Cannondale, right? There's a lot of people don't know about Cannondale as much as they do Specialized. Um, so I think one of the selling points is they're giving you a little more for the money. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you knew this, but my roots in mountain biking come from a Cannondale. That was my first XC mountain bike back in 2009. Yeah, one of my one of my first bikes that I ever wanted. So I have a friend that I grew up mountain biking with, Omar. Omar is a big uh, Cannondale fan, and Omar used to have all the nice, really nice stuff. So I used to always look at his bikes and go, "Dang." I really want one of those. <laughs> so Cannondale was, I think, growing up on the East Coast, and the, especially the Mid-Atlantic East Coast, with Cannondale being made up in Pennsylvania for a long time, everybody around here at one point really wanted a Cannondale. Okay. So, yeah, so we give it, we give it a big thumbs up. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I can't uh, wait to try out. I didn't ride this one because it's a, it's a, it's uh, a medium. medium, and I didn't want to not like it because it didn't fit me properly. Uh, we set it up for Elvis and I didn't want to go through setting up the suspension and everything else like that. Um, again, I wanted to make sure it was set up properly for him. Everything rode the way it was supposed to. So I didn't want to taint any of the, uh, of my experience by riding a bike that wasn't set up properly for me and then giving it bad marks just because it wasn't the right size for me and set up. So we, everything that we talked about and everything that we, that we saw was based on Elvis's experience and me knowing him and that he's a solid rider, I really trust in the fact, I trust in what he says as being exactly what it is. Um, and I, I was helping filming, so you know, uh, I got to watch it do yeah. what it does. And I think we're gonna add a few clips at the end of this video of us just riding out on the trail. So People get an idea and maybe a couple pictures. Yeah, so that's it. This is the 2024 scalpel. scalpel. Uh, more travel, some newer features, features. Sweet bike, super sweet bike. That's cool. it. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for thanks so much for tuning in. This is our second unboxing video in 2024. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this type of content. And uh, if you guys are enjoying, just make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share with someone. And uh, we hope to put new content out for you guys. Uh, just remember to subscribe to uh, Black and Tan. We're going to put the links on the bio of the video and also the MBM TV. So. That's right. And let us know what you want to see on here. Give us some, give us some hints. Yeah. If, you, if you see a bike that you want us to check out, if you know a bike that we stock and you want us to check it out, let us know in the, in the questions. And we'll do our best to, to see what we can do to get it done. All right. Cool. We'll see All you right guys, guys in the next one. Later.